The movie opens with Richmond preparing for a concert featuring local star Ellen Aim. As the event begins, a gang of bikers dressed in black leather rides into town. During the concert, the lively and beautiful Ellen Aim performs passionately amidst bright lights and loud music. The biker gang quietly infiltrates the audience, eventually moving to the front where they silently watch the show, blending in with the crowd swaying to the beat. After Ellen finishes her first song, the bikers rush the stage and abduct her. Despite efforts from the band and the audience to stop them, the bikers easily overpower them and flee with Ellen, who screams for help, causing chaos outside. Reva Cody sends a message to her brother Tom, asking him to come back home. Tom, just out of the military, takes a train back to town. Meanwhile, Reva is at her diner when a group of rowdy youths barges in. She tells them to leave, but they threaten her. Tom arrives, removes his coat, and quickly handles the troublemakers, even throwing some through a window with a coat stand. The youths flee, and Tom takes their car, leaving Reva relieved to see him. Reva then tells Tom that Ellen has been kidnapped by the bombers. Upset that Ellen, who was involved with her manager, and by Reva's expectations for him to rescue her, Tom angrily heads to a bar. Tom encounters McCoy, a tough ex-military woman who's currently homeless. He invites her to stay at his sister's place for the night. While getting ready for bed, Tom looks through old photos of Ellen from when they were dating. Reminiscing about their past, he decides to change his approach. The next morning, Tom meets a friend who gives him some guns. Armed, he heads to a diner to face Billy Fish, Ellen's current boyfriend and manager. Billy, a nerdy guy with glasses who loves bow ties, thinks his money sets him apart. He doubts Tom's ability to rescue Ellen. Tom demands $10,000 for the rescue mission, and after some hesitation, Billy agrees. Tom also insists that Billy come with him since he's familiar with the area called the Battery, where Ellen is being held by the bombers. Though reluctant at first, Billy agrees because he wants Ellen back. McCoy expresses her interest in joining the mission for the money. Despite Billy's objections, Tom, possibly amused by the tension between them, agrees to give McCoy a 10% cut. Due to her expertise with vehicles, McCoy is designated as the driver. They set off for the Battery, with McCoy and Billy trading sarcastic remarks along the way. At the Battery, a band performs at a biker bar named Torchies, where women in fishnet stockings dance on the bar. Raven, the leader of the bombers, goes into a room where Ellen is tied to a bed. He hints at freeing Ellen after a forced romantic encounter, which Ellen rejects. Frustrated by her refusal, he leaves the room. Tom, McCoy, and Billy strategize their attack on Torchies. Tom takes a vantage point from a nearby rooftop, while McCoy goes in through the ground level with plans to head upstairs. Billy is responsible for picking them up after 15 minutes. From the rooftop, Tom watches McCoy maneuver through the bar and eventually persuade a biker to lead her upstairs. Once in a party room, the biker makes unwanted advances, but McCoy quickly disables him with her gun. She then interrupts a card game among the top bombers, including Raven, holding them at gunpoint. Tom observes bikers performing stunts outside the bar until he sees Ellen tied up on a bed inside Torchies. He starts shooting at the motorcycles, setting them on fire. In the chaos that follows, Tom heads into the bar, finds Ellen, and frees her. They meet up with McCoy, and the three of them escape through the top floor exit. Right on time, Billy shows up, and McCoy takes the wheel for their escape. Tom tells them to meet at the Grand Station underpass while he distracts the bombers. Tom disables more motorcycles and takes down several bikers. When he tries to escape on a bike, Raven confronts him and issues a threat. Tom cautions Raven about his weaponry, but Raven brags about his own ability to obtain abundant arms, promising to strike back at Tom and Ellen. Tom then hurries away. McCoy, Billy, and Ellen wait at the Grand Station underpass. Billy, worried about potential trouble from bikers or police, suggests leaving, but Ellen insists they stay to wait for Tom emphasizing his role in her rescue. Billy mentions Tom's financial incentive, leading to an argument between McCoy and Billy about Tom and Ellen's history. When Tom arrives, he urges them to leave quickly and abandon the car. Ellen asks for a private talk with Tom to discuss their past and why he left. Tom expresses his frustration over Ellen's relationship with Billy, while Ellen is upset with Tom for taking money to rescue her. They leave the car and make their way through a busy neighborhood. A fan spots Ellen and follows them, showing admiration. Tom halts a bus belonging to a band called the Sorrels in a crowded street by pulling a gun and takes control of it for their escape. 
As they approach Richmond, their journey is halted by a police roadblock. Billy's attempts to negotiate and bribe the officers fail. Tom then forces the police to disarm and lie on the ground while he damages their vehicles. They continue their escape on a bus, now being chased by the police. Forced to leave the bus behind, they head to a train station, planning to catch the next train. Everyone gathers at the police station in Richmond, with a crowd eager to see Ellen. Ellen wants to leave town and is upset with Tom for taking money to rescue her. The vice leader of the bombers appears. The police chief talks with Raven, who wants Tom Cody handed over to avoid further trouble. At Reva's diner, Tom is visibly upset, and McCoy is annoyed with him for being arrogant and not appreciating her help. She complains to Reva about Tom's attitude and leaves angrily. Reva criticizes Tom for feeling sorry for himself after Ellen's rejection, hinting she hoped the rescue would benefit him personally. The police chief arrives to tell Tom that Raven wants to meet the next day, advising him to leave town by night to avoid getting arrested. Tom visits Ellen and Billy at their hotel. Billy pays Tom what he owes. Tom confronts Ellen about initially wanting to save her without seeking money, a feeling that's now gone. He refuses the full payment, keeping only McCoy's share, and leaves. Billy taunts Tom for his decision, but Ellen runs after him. Outside, in the rain, they hug and are later seen in bed together. Ellen offers to leave town with Tom. Tom makes up with McCoy at the bar and invites her to join him and Ellen in leaving town right away. She agrees. While on the train, it stops, causing Tom to try to get off. Ellen objects, but Tom knocks her out and tells McCoy to make sure Ellen gets off safely. Wanting to go back to Richmond, Tom's plan is spoiled by train disruptions caused by the bombers. Raven arrives with two followers, as he told the police chief earlier. The chief tells him that Tom and Ellen left and arrest Raven. Raven blows a horn, summoning about 40 armed bikers. The bomber's arrival sends local residents into the streets to help the police. Tom shows up as the situation gets tense. Unusually, Raven and his gang have pickaxes for close combat. A fight ensues. Tom disarms Raven, throwing away the pickaxe for a fist fight. After a tough battle, Tom, though injured, beats Raven. The townspeople point their guns at the bombers, who then retreat with Raven. The movie ends with another performance by Ellen Aim. Tom watches from backstage as the Sorrels, now Ellen's opening act, perform. Billy confronts him, promising not to get in the way. Tom suggests Billy is a better fit for Ellen. When Tom meets Ellen, it's clear she knows he's leaving. He reassures her he'll be available if she needs him. After a goodbye kiss, Tom leaves. Ellen starts her performance while Tom watches from the venue's entrance, leaving during her first song. Outside, he meets McCoy, who has the vehicle Tom took from the gang. They drive away together. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Take care.